There is this dog named Rio, and Rio does not know any simple commands. He doesn't know sit. He doesn't know stay. He doesn't. So like, Rio doesn't understand. Oh, no, exactly. That Leo. <laughs> but Keith, Keith said, you're going to learn. We are going to get in this together. So I'm going to train you. So Keith spent hours and hours training Rio. So now Rio knows stay, come, wait, down, watch me. Crate that takes a lot of time. How do you find that it much does. time? Well, so he's trying to get him ready, you know, to be adopted. He's at the Humane Society, and Keith is not able to adopt him because Keith is behind bars. Oh, he's in prison. He is in prison. Oh, I've heard about these yeah, type of programs. Well, it's a program, and it's from canine cellmates, is what they call it, and they get the inmates to train these shelter dogs so that they can be maybe a little more favorable in the adoption process when people come in because they're well behaved and you know potty trained and this kind of thing so it helps twofold it helps the dog the animal get a forever home but it also gives the inmate a purpose and something to look forward to because that time with that dog has to do so much for them oh listen there there's something about a pet that can even the hardest person can crack a softness of heart. It really does. It's amazing. And just like Liz said, the purpose that that can give somebody, because a lot of, I think a lot of times people find themselves in the situation that they are that land them in prison because there doesn't seem to be a purpose. They're abandoned. Nobody cares. But now there's this purpose and there's this, this caring because I mean, animals care about people. They do. It's unconditional love. And these people find their self-worth, which I love that because when you invest in something and you see that return and especially, you know, from an animal who loves you unconditionally, I, I mean, the sky's the limit.